beginning with this trinomial. I'm going to have x, I have a negative here. So that tells me that I'm going to have a positive and the negative sign. Factors of 18, some possibilities are 1 and 18, 3 and 6, 2 and 9. And I want factors that are going to add up to 3x. These are too far apart. That's not going to happen. So that's, that's not, not a possibility. Um, the second one is 3 and 6. Well, if I have, if I want them to add it to 3x and I made this positive and this negative, I would get a 3. So that's the correct factorization. I want x plus 6, x minus 3. And you can always check by multiplying out x squared minus 3x, inner terms, 6x, that gives me 3x, minus 18. The denominator, the first step is going to be to factor out the common factor of 2. To get 2x squared minus 2x minus 8. Okay, here I have a common factor of 4, and that's going to leave x squared minus 16, difference of two squares. Down here, I do not have a common factor between 2, 9, and 18. So I'm going to leave that as it is. Okay, this numerator I already took care of. Next, factor out right here. I have a negative and a negative. So since I have a negative here, it's going to be x plus something times x minus something. And what I'm looking for are factors of 8 that are going to add up to negative 2x. 1 and 8 are not going to add up to negative 2. So I try 2 and 4. And if I make the 2 a positive and the 4 a negative, I'll get x squared, outer terms negative 4x, inner 2x. Negative 4x plus 2x is negative 2x. 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. So that's correctly factored. This one's easy because it's the difference of two squares, a squared minus b squared. So I know that this is simply going to be x plus 4 times x minus 4, bringing down that 4 that I factored out. This one's the most complex. I've got a 2x and an x, and I know I have a negative here, so one of these is positive, the other's negative. And I do have my factors of 18. 9x is the middle term, so I'm going to look for numbers that aren't too large because I will mul multiply one of those by 2, so if I use a big number like 18, I'm going to end up with something huge and it's never going to go down to 9. So just using trial and error, if I take 2x, let's try minus 3, and then let's try x plus 6. I get 2x squared is my first term, my outer term, 12x inner term, negative 3x, last term, negative 18. These two do add up to 9x, so this is the correct factorization. So I'm going to write this as 2x minus 3, x plus 6. Okay. Factor first, then cancel. So I've got this all factored out, and I'm going to look for common factors. For the numbers, I've got a common factor of 2. 2 cancels out, 4 becomes 2. I also have a common factor of x plus 6. I have a common factor of x minus 4. And I'm looking through. That's it for common factors. Now multiply what remains. So I'm going to have 2 times x minus 3 times x plus 4. So multiplying the numerator. In the denominator, I have x plus 2 times 2x minus 3. Okay, so the first step was definitely the longest, factoring. <clears throat> factoring each one of these polynomials out as far as I could. Then canceling out common factors. And finally,
only multiplying what remains. So in today's lesson, we learned about multiplying rational expressions, and I will see you again soon for more lessons on rational expressions at educator.com.